Welcome to UC Merced. If you're an incoming freshman, you're going to be living in El Portel, Sentinel Rock, Glacier Point, Granite Pass, Cathedral. If you're a continuing student or student athlete, you're going to live at Valley Terrace, Mariposa, Tulum, Half Dome, Tanaya. Every residence building has a lounge with a TV for enjoying downtime with friends or study rooms that have a quiet place to sit down and do homework. Classes can also be held on the ground floor of Glacier Point and Granite Pass. Majority of classes are held on the north end of campus in COB 1 and 2. Social and Science Management Student Services Buildings, Science and Engineering Building 1 and 2. Arts and Computational Science Building, Sustainability and Research and Engineering Building, Administration Building, along with the Biomedical Science and Physics Building. Dining options here at UC Merced are pretty limited. It gets really repetitive. We either have hamburgers, salad, pizza, or a meat option. So it pretty much rotates between those three. We also offer vegan options. There's two dining centers, Wallace Dining Center by Valley Terrace, which is an older building back when the UC first opened, and the recently newly built pavilion next to Glacier Point and Granite Pass. I'd say between the two, Wallace Dining Center is a little bit better just because it stays open a lot later until midnight. But if the Pavilion and the Wallace Dining Center don't have anything that you want to eat, you could always try the food trucks up until 3 p.m. Or if you're just looking for a quick snack, you could always head to the University Store, which is right across from the Health Center. To get your mind off your studies, you could always head to the Joseph Edward Gallup Recreation and Wellness Center, which features a full complement of cardiovascular machines, strength training equipment, indoor basketball courts, and an outdoor calisthenics training area. In addition, we have outdoor basketball courts, tennis courts, an outdoor aquatic center, and an outdoor soccer field. If you're bringing a car onto campus, you'll be able to park at one of the three locations, Bellevue Lot, Scholars Lot, or North Bowl. If you aren't bringing a car on campus, that's all right. There's other ways to explore the city, one being the cat tracks. It's a bus line for all UC Merced students. It takes you to the local neighborhoods and to downtown Merced. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed my campus tour. Um, I try to show everything on campus the best I can to document what this UC Merced campus looks like in 2022. Because I know just from five years ago in the past, it's already changed so much. Like this whole half of the campus is brand new. So I can't even imagine what the campus is going to look like maybe five, ten years from now. And if you're an incoming freshman or if you're a current student at UC Merced, I hope you guys found this video useful and you guys can really experience how a student uh, can utilize this campus the best it can because I know we're in the middle of nowhere or it may seem that way, but there's so much that this campus has to offer that I really feel like is underrated. And as it grows five, 10 years from now, it's gonna get better and better. And I'm so proud to be a Bobcat. Go Bobcats! Peace.